guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually going to be doing a little review on Okja the movie. If you haven't seen it please go and check it out on Netflix. It's absolutely amazing. It's great to see a big budget film like this coming to the, the streaming screen really. It's something you would love to see in the cinema and it brings all that power right through to the camera. It's absolutely amazing. Basically what it is it's 26 pigs that are actually sent to 26 far flung countries around the world and there's a competition that's it's supposed to be that it's the super pig is actually going to be chosen and the first best pig will be sent to this super pig fest in New York City and unveiled to the world but actually it's far from that because the, the actual truth is that it's actually going to go to the underground lab in Promise, New Jersey and basically what they're going to do is they're going to run a lot of series of tests and such likes as we know well, they're basically genetically modified but it's, an, it's an, an undercover type thing because what they're trying to do is they're trying to make it out that this is going to end world hunger it's Nancy Mirando actually if you, if you know this, the Mirando name, it sounds a lot like Monsanto. You'll probably have heard of Monsanto. What they actually are is basically they are a company in Missouri in the US that actually done a lot of testing on genetically modified crops and things. So there's a little connotation in chime to that. Monsanto, Mirando, you know what I mean? So basically the cast in it is Jake Gyllenhaal. He plays Dr. Johnny, who's basically the best animal loving so-called he person that actually works for the, the, the Mirando Corporation is absolutely insane and very very it's, it reminds you a lot of the people around about that actually say they love their animals but they, they, they've not got that connection they love pets but they, they do a lot of testing and cruelty to the animals so that is Dr Johnny like I say you've got Tilda Swinton as well who actually plays Nancy Mirando who's actually runs the Mirando Corporation she's absolutely psychotic to say the least. Lily Collins plays Red who's actually one of the, the members of the ELF which is the Animal Liberation Front and obviously you've got So Hyun Ahn who actually plays Mija who's actually Okja's best friend and companion. Basically what it is is, let's see this is set 10 years before and what actually happens is Mija looks after Okja in the mountains of South Korea where she lives with her granddad where and basically you've got obviously the, the, the image obsessed CEO and power hungry Nancy Mirando who has big plans obviously to, to obviously use Okja and actually make things like pig jerky and such like so it's going to be sent out all around the world to different supermarkets so it actually ensues the actual Mija actually ends up going out and actually starting from Seoul she actually goes to the Miranda Corporation in Seoul and the rescue mission actually ensues all the way into America right to the New York chase basically it's an absolutely amazing film and you actually see the love and the connection with Okja and Mija especially right at the start of the, the, the movie where actually Mija ends up falling down a, a, a cliff edge and Okja actually saves her. You see them lying together and cuddling up and brush it when Mija's brushing her teeth and such like. So it's absolutely amazing the love and the compassion. It's a very very vegan type film. Computer genitized computer genitized as well. What really struck me quite about it as well was the fact that Mija and her granddad obviously eat fish and chicken in the movie as well, which kinda shows to you as well that I suppose that we prioritise one life over another because we get the connection to that animal because it's part of our life. It's it basically hits home in so so many ways, but like I say, the the film was really really pro vegan to say the least. Like I say, especially with the ALF in it as well. Like I say, it really really hits home. You seen obviously in the slaughterhouse and the, the actual animal testing facility as well. Basically, oats have been raped and such likes as well, and it's it really really hits home, guys. It really really does. Like I say, it's just. 
it just shows you the kind of world that we live in. Like I say, that we've got to do these to, uh, things to animals. Like I say, we prioritise one life over another, and we prioritise monetary gain basically over an animal's life. Like I say, we think that they are property. Like I say, as in Nancy Miranda actually said in the video, she actually says they're my fucking property, and all that matters is they taste fucking good. You know what I mean? That, that's exactly the kind of world that we do live in. So like I say, the pursuit obviously leads from obviously Seoul to New York and ends up at the meat processing plant in New Jersey. But the, the twist in all of this is basically Nija is actually made to believe that since she was actually with Okja from the age of four, that she was, Okja was actually born in Arizona with her mother, but that's far from the truth. Like I say, she was actually made in this genetically modified plant. And like I say, they can sound heavier and more dogmatic than it actually is, but if you've actually seen this film, it's absolutely amazing. Like I say, it's basically, it's a high speed train journey all the way through it. Like I say, the human performers are actually absolutely brilliant. Like I say, Paul Dano, who actually plays the AL ALF leader J, he's absolutely amazing, like I say, as well. It's really, really gut wrenching, guys. It brought a lot of memories back to me, obviously, being a slaughterhouse worker and such likes. There's a little twist in it at the end where actually you see Mija actually going to actually save Okja and she actually uses a little golden pig to actually buy her from. Nancy Miranda's sister so it's, it just shows you the kind of people that we are that we put a price on animal life like I say it's absolutely crazy guys like I say it really really is you think of it but it's like moral value versus moral agency and when I talk about moral value what I mean is no animal obviously wants to die and we actually put a moral value on that and moral agency when the, the talk when I talk about that, that basically means like when people say, Oh, but an animal can't think for itself, it doesn't know right from wrong. You know what I mean? That's it's moral moral value versus moral agency. That the they're, they're two different things altogether. But it's an absolutely thrilled idea movie, guys. It really, really is. It get great write-ups from the New York Times and such likes as well. And it's absolutely amazing to see that Netflix are actually putting out such great vegan content. They're very, very pro-vegan. Actually, on Twitter as well, there's been a lot of people that actually took to Twitter and saying that Oaks has actually turned them vegan, which is absolutely great to see. I really, really hope that we have a vegan world in our lifetime, but I doubt that will obviously happen. Like I say, there's only like 2-7% of the, the, the world that's actually vegan at the moment. But content like this and putting out the vegan message is actually making a big, big strike forward. But you can never really account for that because you can get a big wave from one month with things like this and the publicity and then the next month it can wane out but hopefully that really really does make a great great difference like I say you think of it like I say that the pigs that they're, they're actually most piglets are actually killed at six months of age so like I say you can see a lot of people obviously make the argument that it's okay to kill an animal if they've had a good long life and they've lived well but that's far from the truth because like I say most pigs are actually killed at six months old but obviously the sows who are actually the female pigs they're actually killed at two to three years old basically because they're, at, they're raped constantly to obviously produce more pigs to give into the, the actual agriculture and such likes like I say there's obviously two ways that they obviously kill pigs obviously they shoot them through with a boat gun in the head and obviously cut their throats and sling them up and then obviously you get the gas chambers as well, which is absolutely disgusting. But this this movie was absolutely gut wrenching. Like I say, it really brought a lot of tears to my eyes, especially at the bit at the end where obviously Oaks has been saved by Nija, and they're walking out of the, the slaughterhouse, and all the pigs are obviously basically telling them to keep going, and one of the pigs actually opens up the the the. The, the barrier fence and actually lets out the baby pig for obviously Oksha to actually put in her mouth and hide from the, the, the workers to save that save their little baby and that's what they do. They don't want to die, they want to save their, their animals, they want to live like I say and it's a cruel world that we live in. But it was an absolutely amazing film guys, it really really was like I say brilliant to say the least, like I say, the love and the compassion between Oksha and Mija was absolutely lovely to see and it just shows you that the kind of 
compassion and love that we can have for one another. Like I say, animals are not here to serve us, they're here to live with us and that's what it's all about. I hope you can go and check it out. Let me know in the comments below if you've watched it and I'll speak to you all in the next video. And remember as always, binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. Binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. Speak to you all soon and love you so much.